On a perfect autumn day, Max and our team arrive at the Central Park Zoo to compete in the annual Giant Gingerbread Man Cookie Jamboree. This prestigious baking competition boasts a $10,000 grand prize and it benefits the zoo. Central Park's zoo origins date back to the 1860s when New Yorkers donated their unwanted pets like a black bear cub in 1859. But today, the Central Park Zoo is home to a wide range of animals, including red pandas, sea lions, penguins, fish, birds, lizards, and even snow leopards. Max has weaseled his way into the baking competition with the help of his friend and zoo discovery guide volunteer, Agnes Frumpster. Now, the only thing standing between Max and the culinary crown are the three celebrity judges. Chew TV's most beloved chef, the Queen of Cream, Sweet Sally Buttercup, Sally's twin sister and professional wrestler, Natasha Knockout Buchanan, and the dashing former New York City councilman, Peter Jones, who is more famous for his love life than for his legislation. Let's hope Max has what it takes to win the grand prize. The competition is about to start. Max, hurry up. The judges will be here any minute. Almost done, Agnes. I've got one more snow leopard spot to make on this cookie using chia seeds. Those are spots? (laughs) I thought those were bullet holes. Just because you're a mystery writer... You don't have to read bloody murder into everything I bake. Let's face it, Max. You've been involved in so many murders, I wouldn't be surprised to find a dead body under this table. And what's so special about chia seeds anyway? Well, chia seeds contain omega-3 fats and more fiber than other grains. They're also a good source of antioxidants and protein. And that amount of fiber can slow the absorption of sugar in your blood. Your snow leopard cookies are adorable and match my fur accessories. We're going to need more cookies. Patricia, grab the extra container under the table. Sure. Oh, no. Their heads are broken off. Ha! I was right, Max. You do have dead bodies under this table. This is no accident. It's an omen. I can feel it. Something bad is going to happen. Quick, hot the broken ones. Now, who wants to try some of my kale hot cocoa? Anyone? Mom? Uh, Oh, I'll pass. You know I have that overactive bladder. How can you resist this earthy aroma? Mm. Yuck! It smells like compost. But almond milk is so good for you. And I added kale to give it that extra nutrient boost. He's right. Almond milk is rich in good fats, which promote a healthy heart. And unsweetened almond milk is 50% lower in calories. Can almond milk help strengthen my bones? No, it won't. It doesn't contain calcium, but kale does. Y'all are nuts. No one's going to taste that kooky combination, not even the judges. It just smells awful. You don't know what you're talking about. My TV idol, Sweet Sally Buttercup, will love my kale hot cocoa so much She's going to make a big donation to Divabetic. You'll see. How can you be so sure? I left a stack of donation requests in her dressing room earlier. She stars in a TV show. She publishes a magazine. And still she has time to judge a gingerbread man contest. How does she do it all? And she just introduced her own line of buttercup bottled fruit juices. I'll tell you how she does it. She does it by driving everyone crazy. Her list of demands was a mile long. Listen, 
I don't care if these gingerbread men have heads or not. I want one now. Help yourself. No one else knows this, but sweet Sally's been receiving death threats. Now her sister Natasha insists on wearing diamonds. How can wearing expensive jewelry protect her sister? (laughs) Not real diamonds. She has a pet python named Diamonds. Oh, no. I'm petrified of snakes. Tell her to keep her diamonds away from me. Max, you are so dramatic. Agnes, how do the cookies taste? Uh... Well, I mean, there's no gluten-free blueberry lavender cheesecake. But go ask for not a whisk. She's a last-minute replacement in the competition. Oh, no. We're not a whisk is the last person I want to see. She belongs. The only people who like my food are six feet under. She has a point, Max. I mean, your catering, catering career is spotty as your cooking. But they do match my handbag perfectly. Is that real, Leopard Rosemary? Oh, no, for goodness sakes. No, this is what we call fun fur. Where are the snow leopards anyway? Yeah, Max, you said we'd be right next to their cage. Well, my new boyfriend, Damon, moved Max's station to the tropical rainforest zone when he learned sweet Sally and her sister loved reptiles. Listen, Max, it might even help you win. Oh, no! We're surrounded by reptiles! Switch us back! No can do. You can't move now. You'll be disqualified before the judges even get here. And I can't wait to meet former councilman Skeeter Jones. They say he's a real lady killer. I'm surprised he's even here. After all, he just lost his election. When we meet your new boyfriend, Damon, Agnes, he seems so happy. I am. I finally found my Prince Charming after kissing so many frogs. And he's a zoologist. Oh, speaking of frogs, these little colorful, colorful ones over here are just adorable. Look, everyone. <laughs>